Hey guys, I'm back again. Also, to continue on my last video that I started rambling on about, remember I was mentioning some of the stuff I got at iHerb, iHerb, whatever. Um, I also forgot that I ordered this, which I cannot lie, is quite brilliant. Little side note, this is not iHerb. I got this at um, Trader Joe's. You guys, these are so awesome. Very spicy, kind of like me. Uh, but my favorite Quest bars of all time are these ones, which I got at iHerb, of course. Um, but these are the Quest bars, like, I have not gotten as creative as so many of my Fit Valential people, where they, like, bake Quest bars and stuff in the oven. They make all of these concoctions. I want to learn to do that, to give myself variety. What I love about this bar in particular, I have some other favorites. My other favorite um, is my Cliff Bar, the Builder's Bars. If you get the chocolate mint, uh, Cliff, Builders bars, thank me later. One of the best things on the planet. Um, and you don't have to heat that up. There's, a, there's some bars that are good, but only if you heat them up. This, I do not heat up. I think this tastes to me like a regular chocolate chip cookie, and it's 190 calories. If you haven't had Quest bars, you definitely need to go buy yourself. Now, I had some of this at the Arnold. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. This definitely tastes like a peanut butter cup. But I love you, Quest. It's very, very dry. Very dry. It will stick to your mouth. Um, I heated it up. I may or may not have done this yesterday. <laughs> heated it up and was eating it with a fork dipped in this. It's just, it's dry. It tastes amazing, but it's dry. I would never, like, have this in the car without my water with me or whatever. So I got this there, too. I wanted to tell you about the peanut butter. Um, I think that's it. But... Let's go back to what I was saying in my last video, which is talking about, um, whoa, talking about my training. And what I started to talk about in my last video was how I'm using my calendar that I just got at Walmart as a real good visual accountability tool for me in my house. Um, and I started off the first, I probably didn't start doing this until the end of January, as you can see. But it's very helpful for me to, when I'm finished with my workout, whether, I, whether I'm at the gym and I come home, this is right inside my, whatever you call it, like mudroom, um, right by the door. So it, and it's right by my laundry. So when I get finished training, you know, I'm gonna put my sweaty clothes on the laundry and I've got two pens and a marker now, Sharpie, because I'm getting to the weight training part, uh, where I record what I'm doing. It's very helpful for me to see kind of look at my month as a whole and see what I'm doing, what I'm doing, if I'm being consistent or not, because we can think something in our mind, whether it's how we're eating or how we're training, and it's not till you see it on paper that, and then you have a visual of like the whole month that you can realize, hey, am I like slumming it? Am I really, you know, being lame or whatever? And for me in the past, especially when I got injured last year, you know, I was doing, I, I tend to go, um, you know, I'll go balls to the wall and be, you know, um, very excited about it. But then I got, you know, I just missed my cardio. I missed the kind of training I was doing and I was bummed. And you don't realize how much you're slacking off when you're not, in my opinion, for me, this is a very effective way for me to track. I used to sometimes rely on my blog, but then again, looking back in retrospect, when you see, sometimes Sherry and I'll be talking and we'll be like, wow, I'm seeing really good results this month. And if you try to go, what is it that I'm doing this month versus other months? You might not have, and who wants to go back, like as far as I'm concerned? God bless all you guys. I don't wanna go back and watch these Babylonathons again to try to figure out what I was doing. So I looked at the first two months. I talked about this uh, in several of my last vlogs with you guys. Um, I said, wow, you know, I'm getting my cardio in. And like I said, at the very end of my last video, it's never a problem for me to get my cardio in. Why? Because last year I got myself in that habit, which is a good thing, and I enjoy it. I love to get up and have the first thing I do. I have my cup of coffee, I, I read my devotion books, I say my prayers, and then I go and I do my cardio. Whether it's here, or most of the time it's at the gym, but I'm really kind of adding some variety back and forth. Everything's about mixing it up and balancing. Um, but I really enjoy doing my cardio. Because I do my cardio, first thing in the morning, um, and again, it's what I enjoy, and I do it first thing in the morning, that's always gonna get done. 
Um, I really did enjoy when I was in the habit of doing yoga every night. Do I think I'll do yoga every single night, seven days a week? Probably not, because I think if I'm gonna do yoga and make sure I'm focusing on my weight training, um, yoga also really works. Obviously your muscles, especially when you're doing it consistently. But I don't think I'm gonna necessarily be doing both. We'll feel it out. Um, I wanna make sure I'm not overtraining, which by tracking too, I make sure I'm not overtraining. But because of my schedule and again, my tendency, I get my cardio done in the morning, but quite often whether I'm traveling or, or if I'm here, if it gets to be eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night and I'm putting that time and, I, and I'm saying, oh, I haven't done my weight training, it's very unlikely that I'm going to motivate myself, even though I'm good at motivating myself, to drive to the gym and do a weight training session that late at night I'm mentally fatigued, I'm physically kind of spent, um, and even at home. And I've got a ton of equipment here. I've got barbells, I've got dumbbells, I've got BOSU balls, I've got, um, uh, well, I broke my slam ball. I've got kettlebells, I've got muscle ropes. I mean, I've got just about anything you would need to do a workout. In fact, I need to buy heavier dumbbells um, because I'm so, you know, baller. But I'm realizing that it's, you know, a tendency of mine to not get my weight training in. And so now that I've been tracking it with this method uh, uh, on here, I realized I've got to do something on here that makes it pop out to me that every week I'm getting in my weight training. So if you can see, like last month, I was doing everything in this green, right? And, you know, this <laughs> accounts for my food poisoning and all of that. But everything was in green, and even though I can look at it, you know, I still have to kind of look at each week and go, okay, cardio, cardio, yoga, resistance bands, but it wasn't something that was popping out. So what I did, all about color coding. This week, I started adding in with a purple Sharpie. What were the days that I also did weight training, resistance training? So this is, I'm looking at the week of the ninth, and then of course I added a total at the end. Um, five days I use resistance training, five W, and nine days of, you know, obviously, everything's gonna be cardio. Um, but, you know, my goal is that every week now we'll have four to five sessions of, of, you know, really hard training with weights. And so for me, just adding the Sharpie on here when I do weight training and kind of underlining that day helps me see, okay, out of seven days that week, which is really good, I took it up a notch, um, out of seven days, I did weights on Sunday, Monday, um, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then today, which is Saturday. So I'm able to look at the week and go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, five days I did weights. Um, I can see what kind of caloric burn I had. I'm certainly eating more. Um, and we're going to track this every week. And, you know, I, what I've certainly been advised by whether it's Dr. Prisk or other trainers that I'm talking to, they've all said the same thing. They're like, Kelly, stop. Old Kelly would have been like, I should eat less, I should eat less, I should eat less. And then I'm still training so much and wasn't seeing results. And now, without even planning to have that approach, I'm really more adding more training and not, I just hadn't been focusing on my eating as much as just eating to make my tummy feel okay. The past several weeks since having the food poisoning, food flu, whatever. And as I mentioned in my last couple of videos, I was really starting to see results going, wait a minute, maybe there's something to be said about this. So this has, I, I'm gonna say overall, it's become fun for me. It's become fun for me to record stuff on here. And then of course, what's made it a little bit more fun is the ability to really mix things up. You know, I have the ability to train. My gym is five minutes from my house. I can train with Debbie and Courtney there. So I have the ability to train by myself at the gym. Um, I'm confident enough and I know enough to train by myself, but I can also train with Courtney and learn from her. I think she's a bikini competition girl. So um, I have a lot, you know, that I can show her some of the moves that either Jay has shown me or some of my other trainers. And she shows me some of the, the stuff that she's done and it's great to have the spotters when the three of us train and so on. But then I can go by myself. And then I also have the ability to train at home. And especially now that Vic has shown me what to do to rehabilitate my ankle and my calf situation, um, which is I'm doing those calf specific stretches, specific stretches for the outside of my calves three times a day. It's 
made a huge difference. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember, but I'm trying to do it like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Making sure I do it three times a day, 30 second hold for each leg five times. So each time I do it, I'm doing uh, 10, is that right? Five each leg. So 10 times 30 seconds, three minutes. It takes me three to four minutes to do it. Um, three times a day. Just that little investment in myself. Um, and I'm gonna go see someone who's gonna do some trigger point on me on Monday, Amy's friend, her trainer. And um, she was talking about using some of this KT tape uh, that that might help. But um, I mentioned before when I started going to the gym that I was really tired of, I was really burned out from training at home. Um, and that was really what started to happen. I hadn't been going to Lifetime pretty much since last summer. Um, I stopped going and then I was doing most of my stuff at home. That's when I was doing Ultimate Yogi every night. My legs are so sore right now. It's a great feeling. But I was just kind of burned out. I was burned out being here. It was so exciting to get back to the gym. What I do like is um, having the ability to mix up and kind of complement what I'm doing at the gym and having options for both places. And for me, it's kind of cool because it, it just adds more variety. So I reached out to my BFF, Kathy, who is freaking awesome. And for those of you that know me, you know I have been a fan of Kathy Friedrich for years and years and years. She's the first advanced weight training um, DVDs that I got. Um, I'd say, hold on, I just found another one. Uh, that's one, okay. Um, it was, the way that I started working out was back in the day, I started out with Billy Blank's Tybo Advance that were on uh, VCR. This was years, in, this is 10, 15 years ago. This is how I started. And then after that, I think I started getting into the firm workouts, which were good, but then they got all fluffy and whatever. And it was somehow or another through reading Body for Life that I got into forums and, and finding blogs. And then I found Kathy Friedrich who, okay, so these are all of the DVDs from Kathy Friedrich. The thing about DVDs is Kathy Friedrich is one of the few that always has advanced. They're advanced pretty intense DVDs. A lot of people, whether it's Billy Blanks or even The Firm, um, they take into account more so, they're more targeted towards beginners. And what happens is if you're ready to move things up, you're like, okay, this is too easy for me. That's why I stopped buying all of Billy Blanks' Tybo DVDs because they were like, oh, I'm gonna take five minutes in between each punch and show you how to punch. It's like, what about people that know how to punch? Um, it got frustrating for a while, but Kathy Friedrich, is amazing. She's been doing this, teaching um, classes, but also making DVDs for probably 20 years. She was inducted into the Arnold Hall of Fame a couple years ago. So these are all the DVD. Oh shit! <laughs> these are all the DVDs I've had before. I've had a lot of them, you know. And some of these she sent me. So some of these I did not pay for, but some, a lot of these I bought myself, and I've always kept the ones I bought. Um, but. There's a mix of cardio only, and then most of them have some form of weight training in them. They're, they're awesome. I mean, like, some of my favorites are, hold on, where's the other one? There's two, what she calls high step training. So it's a mix of hardcore weights, and then she'll do like a, um, a cardio cycle in between. So like this one has cycle one, um, cardio, legs, triceps, and then you do cardio. Cardio legs, shoulders, cardio legs, biceps, cardio legs, back, cardio legs, chest. And then each DVD will have like six or seven premixes on it. So then in something like this, she might have like half an hour premix, time saver premix. Then she'll have premixes where she'll take it and go upper body blast premix, lower body blast, no cardio, you know, all different kinds of options. So even if you might pay 50 bucks for one DVD, you're getting like 17 options. It's pretty amazing. And again, she's targeting advanced. Not even, I'd say some of her stuff might be intermediate advanced, but most is gonna be, hey, you know how to train, you're looking to build muscle and, and torch fat. Her stuff is awesome. So she, I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed. She sent me, I, I had, she had said, you know, let me know what DVDs I can send you. So I was like, how about these? So there's quite a lot more that she sent me, which is nice because again, like today, I really needed to focus. <sighs> this is how I can let my mornings get away from me. Um, 
I really wanted to not leave my house today. That was my goal. It's Saturday. I have a lot of work I need to catch up on. I gave myself a break yesterday. And so I know it might sound silly in that my gym is five minutes away, but I just, sometimes I feel like when I go to the gym, I will sit in the sauna afterwards and it just seems to kind of stretch out a lot longer. So what I chose to do today is instead sit here and shoot half an hour's worth of vlogs. But anyway, um, this morning I did cardio at home and then I did, um, gosh, what did I do? I already forget. Oh, I did um, X Train, which is one of her most recent ones. So the X Train DVD, as you can see, it has all these DVDs in it. So there are nine different DVDs and then she says, let's see, 140 premix workouts. So I don't, I'm trying to think, I don't know what the cost is of this. Um, but you get not only nine DVDs, but within those DVDs, 140 premixes. And they're not just like, oh, here's a premix where we cut off five minutes. They're specific premixes like, hey, do you just wanna like say, the disc that I did today was chest, back, and shoulders. Her, the, oh, in fact, hold on. I put it up on Instagram, chest, back, and shoulders, the premix that she had, let me see if I can show you. And clearly you should be following me on Instagram. But like this is, do you see all of the premixes there? So on one DVD of this, there is a chest, back, and shoulders plus core for 60 minutes, chest, back, and shoulders with no resistance tubing in it, that's uh, 48 minutes, time saver, which is rounds one to four, 30 minutes, time saver, rounds one to four plus core, 42 minutes, time saver, rounds one to five, 36 minutes, time savers, rounds one to five plus core, 46 minutes. So each one has like a, a certain amount of rounds. Then there's extreme, which is a 93 minute workout, which has rounds one to eight plus rounds one to three plus core. And then she's got one, I'm sorry, that's 77 minutes. Then she's got one that's double trouble for 93 minutes. So who knows what that is? But she's taking all this stuff and kind of like allowing you to go either, you know, much to the extreme, wow, chest is hurting from the workouts, or condense it. Because say, maybe you went for a run that day, you come in and you're like, I just wanna blast out some chest today. And you don't need to do her warm up and you don't need to do her cool down because you've already warmed up with your run. Again, depending on what your focus is. I tend to like to do cardio and get my sweat going and then I like to do weight training, which kind of goes in the face of what other people will tell you to do. They'll say, do your weight training first so that you have the energy um, for weight. It doesn't, that's not what I like. And, and if it works for me and I'm okay, I'm actually okay as long as I'm hydrated working out on an empty stomach. Gosh, I'm at 17 minutes. So I'm only gonna give you a quick preview, but all that said, I really like the idea that I can do some workouts at home, some works at, at the gym, mix it up, and what I'm really gonna focus on is making sure that you know I don't only do isolation training at the gym. Sometimes like today, um, or I did shoulders the other day, I think, and it was much more of like low weights and just burning out the sets. A lot of you guys ask me how I work my arms. It's a combination of really, really heavy training, but then also getting in, Jay would teach me like circuit blasts where like for shoulders, I've made up my own circuit where it'll be, it'll start off with front raises, let's see, front raises up to, you know, a side delt to a leaning over side delt, either a leaning over side delt like this, or leaning over side belt, delt like this, which she did in one, where you're, you're raising like that. So you could kind of go front raise, this raise, overhead press, or overhead press, um, the side raise, and then rear delts. So you're hitting front, rear, and, and whatever, but you keep going. If you do that with like five pound weights and you do not stop, not only will you get your heart rate up, I got my heart rate up just telling you guys about it, but you will blast out your shoulders and then you combine that with some traditional training, which is really hard, slow kind of reps. I really like it. I have one minute left and I'm gonna just show you a preview. She has a whole series for low impact. You guys know that I've had issues with my ankles and, and such, so I have to be very careful with anything that's high impact with running. I'm able to do it, but I certainly wanted to look into um, her low impact series. Total body triceps, low impact challenge. Um, just look it up on kathy.com, you'll see. And then she has this whole new series, flex train. This woman knows how to work your glutes, you have no idea. Cardio supersets yoga, lean legs, 
bar workout, low impact. STS is a whole huge series, kickboxing, and so on. So I'm quite pleased. I'm tracking. The fun is back in my life, and I'm seeing results. So let's go with it and see where it takes us. See you guys tomorrow.